I'd like to talk about today is the radical Muslims that are over there in Iraq, Afghanistan, whatsoever. The ones who basically like to blow themselves up for nothing. What the hell is wrong with you? Why would you want to blow yourself up? I mean, you're a young guy. You have a life ahead of you. You could be having kids. You could be have, watching your kids have grandkids, watching them grow up to be something. But no, you want to give it away for an afterlife with 72 virgins which most likely consider of men raping you in the ass in hell. God, what is wrong with you people? I mean, they blow themselves up to think that they are actually proving something. Well, they're not proving nothing. You want to know why? Because when we actually turn it to the news, they, come, they say there's a car bombing with this and all that. You know what we do? We think, oh my god, and then we turn the channel. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. We don't even give a shit what they do. They don't make a point to us that they want to blow them fucking selves up over there. I mean, the reason why they do it is because they think they're doing it for their God Muhammad or Allah, whatever you want to call it. Why? I mean, now me, I'm a Christian. So, you know, um, I don't, I don't believe in Islam or the Book of Koran or nothing like that. Some will speculate, you know, especially speculate on me, like, why do you think this way is the best way? Well, let me tell you this. I'm not putting any other religions down. I have nothing against other religions. You know, whatever you believe in is what you believe in. I mean, but my opinion, Buddha died and was buried. Mohammed, one of the, especially the radical Muslims believe in, are, died and never came back. He was buried, never came back. Jesus Christ was nailed to the cross, beaten to a bloody pulp, died, buried, well, not really buried in the ground, but you know, sealed up in the tomb, which was dug very deep, you know, they had to seal it up with a rock. And the only way to move that rock was to have a lot of strong men to do it. And for three, the rock was branded by Caesar himself. And for three days, guards were watching at every single angle over that tomb. So, yeah, explain that. And he came back. So, what other godly figure in history has died and came back? Definitely not Muhammad. But to continue on, I've actually talked to Muslims over here in this country who actually like America. You know what they tell me? The ones that are over there in Iraq, blowing themselves up, are doing it wrong. It's wrong to be doing what they're doing. They're killing innocent people for nothing. Over a guy who died and never even came back, and probably, and he will never come back. And dying for what? 72 virgins. In my opinion, I'd like to think those 72 virgins are men, are men continuously raping them in the ass in hell. So, you know, all the people who are radical Muslims out there who actually support the fact that they're blowing themselves up, you need to stop. That's all I gotta say right now. This is a face cover, over and out.